Hey, it's Gothy, and this is going to be a very kind of shaky talk from behind the camera video for the time being. Um, I'm going to be doing a um, storage show off kind of thing. So, as you can see, those are my two current work in progresses. They're just sitting on top of a bunch of drawers. So, that's just where I keep them. It's right next to my computer desk, which is where I do my stitching. There's Facebook and stuff. So, yes. So, as you can see, I keep my patterns here. Um, at the moment, I have a few extra bits and pieces on here because I'm working on two little ones, and one's almost finished. So, I move that there. So, that's the pattern I'm working on at the moment. And that's my Arthur's project, which is uh, 56 pages, roughly. Um, I keep some textures here to mark my stuff. There's my little cross stitchy scissors, and I keep extra textures up here in case I need them. This is my little off cuts bin. One thing that I have to make sure all the time is that I have a place to put off cuts where my cat can't get them. Because the last thing I want to do is pay for vet bills because he got into the floss. So, um,. I have a little Spider-Man cup, which um, for when I get, um, like when I cut off bits and I don't want to put them back on the windy bits, I just throw them in there and it's kind of like a lucky dip sort of thing. Um, so, for example, like I've got like four strands left here and if I was done with those colours I'd put them in there and they'd just be a lucky dip for, like just for like projects that are like one colour type of things. So, I have my little cross stitch magnet um, for my needles. I've ordered a few more of these so I should have some more soon. And this is my little needle packet. That's where I keep all of them for cross stitching anyway. My sewing ones get kept somewhere else. As for storage, this is pretty much all cross stitch stuff. Uh, this whole area here. So. Down here we have my four boxes of floss. They're organised. Let's see if I can grab one. They're organised. Oops. I use DMC and they're wound onto cardboard and then labelled and sorted by number. Um, down here I have some little frames that aren't being used at the moment and some fabric if I want to make a cross stitch pattern into a pillow. These are my cross stitch magazines, but I also have some tattoo ones there. I have a few random bits and pieces that I've kind of shoved in there for the time being. And some cross stitch books. And then up here we have all my printed patterns. They're organised into display folders, and each display folder has a different theme. So, for example, I have one that's uh, TV and movies. I have one that's fairies. I have one that's dragons and wizards. And I have one that's for like subversive, so that's how I sort those out. Now my drawers, I'll just move that out of the way. So the top one is my 14 count Ada. Um, so I have all sorts of different things in here. Um, and they're all 14 count. So <clears throat> Then I have my 18 count. Um, which at the moment also has some sample packs of other ones from Colour Cascade. And I think I have a few other random bits and pieces. Yep, there's a oops, uh, tattoo design that I'm designing as a memorial tattoo for my grandfather. And hoops. And yeah, there's those patterns. I was wondering where those went to. Let's look for those. Um, so I don't really have a lot of 18 count at the moment. So this is all of my kits, which I have a lot of. I, I tend to pick them up and then I forget about them. Um, some of them I still need to hunt down the patterns for, like this one. Uh, this is from... Um, it, was, it was an old cross-stitch magazine that used to be um, done in Australia called Cross-Stitch Magic. And my grandfather used to buy it for me every fortnight when it came out. Unfortunately, when I moved out of home, that was one of the things I left behind and it got thrown out. So 
I've been hunting down all the bits and pieces I could. Um, so I think I have the pattern for this one, but I don't have the one for this one. So, let's focus please. Yeah, my camera's not very happy with focusing, so. <clears throat> so this is where I keep my completed ones. Um, so that's just a bunch of other patterns that have to go into a folder still, but so I've got little minion phone case for a phone I can't use. Um, I have another kit that I was given, and then I have some of my finished projects in here that haven't been framed or anything yet. So Then we have current projects, so I keep in here um, ones that I want to start. Um, not sure what that one is. Oh, yeah, so ones that I want to start. That's the Tilt and Craft one there. Um, little ones that I've been working on. I keep spare paper so I can write lists of the threads that I need and just take it down a spotlight and get what I'm missing. Then we have more printed patterns. This is all just printed patterns that haven't been sorted yet. And then misc stuff, so there's some cards and some keychains. I think I have some fabric and stuff in there for other ones. I have a bunch of beads. I really need to get um, a proper container to keep beads in because I'm kind of I can't really use them while they're like this. Um, I have some paints. And, oh, I have more fabrics. They need to go on my fabric shelf. It's in the wrong spot. Oops. But yeah, like I bought this little container from eBay, but it doesn't really hold enough in there, so I need to fix that up. And then I've got, this is all drawing stuff um, for tattoo designs and stuff. And this is just misc sewing. This is like my fixing up kits and stuff because I tend to repair my own clothes and that's what I have in there uh, I think that's pretty much it for that stuff um, I'm just going to put these back in here so I know where they are um, and now I'm just going to show off my I haven't done anything more on Arthur's since I did my last video but I made a new start just to something really simple. So this is a read more kind of tattooed knuckles kind of thing. This is from Plastic Little Covers on Etsy. And this has been really quick to stitch. I just had to go and pick up a few extra colours to finish it. So that'll be done by tonight. Easy. And hopefully I will get the motivation to work more on Arthas because I am participating in... Count Your Stitches July. So, that's all I've done so far is 256, but I haven't counted some of the other ones yet, so... Oh, sorry. That was a bit burpy. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm just trying to get motivated to actually stitch, because... I don't know, I've just not been motivated to do much of anything lately. I hate winter for exactly this reason. But yes, that's going to be fun. And it's my printer. It's just got a cushion on it to stop my cat from jumping up on there. And yeah, it's all of my cross stitch stuff. So that's my little storage video. Um, I also made a little video of um, how I wind floss. So I'll put that on the bottom as well. Um, as I said, I kind of use, I tend to use, um, cardboard for my um, winders and I do it by hand because the um, little pink winder that you can get from Spotlight just doesn't doesn't do the trick. I just don't like using it so I don't. Um, yeah, that's about it. I will see you guys later.